Here in Photoshop, there's a few options to bold your text. The first and best option is always going to be grabbing your type layer and then pressing T for the type tool to make sure you get your font and font styles up here to show up. And then from here, check your font styles for bold options. So for instance, we have bold, extra bold. We have all the way from extra light to black. So in this font, enter, we can select extra bold and that's going to bold our text. But some fonts do not have any option. So if you're trying to bold a font that has has no option, so I think Myriad Pro actually, at least on my uh, installation of it, oh, it does have a bold. But if we just have the regular option here uh, and we take a look at this, we can still bold this text. There's a few ways. Number one, if we grab just this first uh, type layer here, and then we go up here, there's there's an option here, and I don't even remember what this is called. And if I hover over this, it's the anti-aliasing method. Sometimes, if you especially have small text, just making some adjustments to this can change how bold your text looks. This is going to be very micro adjustments. However, if you're working with very, very small text, this actually makes quite a bit of difference. That's the first way. I just wanted to make you aware of that, especially if you're working with tiny text. Now, when we have text this large, I don't think it actually does a whole lot. So I just keep it on strong or whatever its default is. There is an option called faux bold, which is kind of like fake bold here in Photoshop. We would go to window and we need to find the character panel. And once we have the character panel open, you'll see this icon right here is called faux bold. And we can click on it to kind of give that word processor, like if you have Microsoft Word or uh, Google Docs or something, uh, just the bold icon, it's kind of what this option does. Now it's not perfect and it's gonna do it a little bit different than customizing this. And the way that we would customize this is uncheck that and actually just add a stroke to our text. We can do that by going to the text layer, double clicking in the empty space to the right of it, and we're gonna add a layer style. The layer style we're going to add is stroke. We're going to check mark this and get into this stroke options here just by clicking on it. We're going to change the color. We've got to make sure that we use the text color. We could even color pick it just by clicking on it and then go to OK. Now you see it already bolded it. That's because the size of our stroke is 13 point. And I also have the posi position set to outside. So we could bring this down a little bit, actually a lot first. And then we could just use the arrow keys to go up and down by a pixel or two. And you can see that as I go up, that actually starts to bold this text. So you can create a much more custom look. And I think that this looks better than the faux bold option. I'll show you one particular spot where I think it looks better. So this is size six. We can hit OK, or that was six pixels. Now I'm going to take this text on the right and apply the faux bold or the fake bold. And now look at the difference here in the top of the D. So this D, uh, the stem of it here, on the right side is the faux bold option, on the left side is the stroke option. I believe the stroked option keeps a lot better rounding of the corners versus the faux bold, which is more of that beveled edge. And for that reason, I think that probably adding a stroke is a little better than the faux bold option, but it kind of depends on the font. You can see the same thing here at the top of the L. So I don't like the way it does that for the fake bold, but um, you know, ideally, ideally, ideally here in graphic design world with the text, you have styles and you could select a style like bold, for instance, that is actually, and we can remove the stroke, the bold style there is the actual created bold version of that text. So that's what I would use first and foremost. However, there are some other options. Like you could be, you know, you could be using a free font and that font only has one style. And so you want it a little bit more bold and it would be perfect. Well, add a little stroke to it and that will be uh, just fine. Just as long as you don't push that stroke too far, you'll be good to go. And that's how you can bold text here in Photoshop.